This is a chemical that would likely be adsorbed on granular activated carbon. I'm gonna let Aaron answer the question before I go into my whole tirade about, do you guys have filters behind your refrigerators that go to the ice maker that you probably haven't changed and don't know how? They've probably been destroyed, you're gonna leave those things in place, I got a problem with that. If you have one of those cured coffee makers, it's got a carbon filter in it, and if you don't change it, you're gonna to continue to recontaminate yourself. You have water treatment devices throughout your house that Move you probably don't even know exist, and we wanna to talk to you about those. That same carbon treatment system that would treat a, a carbon molecule like this. Isn't this coal country? They call the product granular activated carbon. It's made from bituminous coal. You ship it up to Pittsburgh, it gets activated, it's used in water treatment plants in all over the United States and in the world. They have emergency vessels sitting in a parking lot in Pittsburgh. Why haven't they been deployed to your water treatment plant? Why? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, we agree with you on that. <laughs> you might be asking the wrong person up here about how long I would not be drinking the tap water because I'm going to tell you it'd be a really long time. I go into too many communities like this. How many, did most of you see the, the movie Air Rugby? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Woo! Yeah. There you <laughs> but my point being, did you ever think that that would now be you? No. Yeah. Yes. Some of you did, most of you didn't. Well, you know, we're back out in Hinkley because pg &E never cleaned up the flume. So they've recontaminated a whole lot of people. One of them, and this is specifically to your question, is Roberta Walker. And they are now telling her, well, the levels are way down again, Roberta. And it's safe for you to drink. I'm going to tell you what she said. I don't give a shit. <laughs> you have told me this before. You're not going to tell me it again. And it has been almost two years since she's made that statement, and she still won't drink the water. She said, I don't trust you. It's a known poison. It's still in my water. And I'm not going to let me, my family, or my grandchildren drink it. So it will be have to be your decision. I understand bottled water isn't cheap. But please be cautious. And it may be a long while before you drink the water. Now, people who jump in the bathtub, if they have any kind of problem, they get any kind of skin rash, they don't feel good, they get a headache, they smell something different, they won't get back in it. Somebody will let us know. So you need to be the keeper of your own tap. And if you suspect anything, don't drink the water. And if that means you don't drink it for a year, then don't drink it for a year. For me, I will tell you flat out, if I lived here, there's no way that incompetence tomorrow or within the next week that I would drink or let my family drink my tap water. I would continue to protect myself and drink bottled water until more time has passed and somebody can tell me with certainty that this tap water is absolutely safe. I don't want you to tell me that it's 500 parts per billion or 50 parts per billion or two parts per billion. I want you to tell me it's zero. zero. And when it is, I will drink the water. What about the shower? Pipe contamination, is that an issue? Pipe contamination? Right. Well, absorption. Yes. There can be, oh, no. absorption, no. He'll address that. I thought you were talking about sitting in the pipes. No, 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 I'm talking about absorption. No. Okay. Your pipe material, whether it's plastic, copper, galvanized, God forbid, old lead pipe. We are in West Virginia, there's some old lead pipe here. Um, it will not be impacted. Now, without freaking you guys out, um, the older your pipes are, the more corroded they get that, you know, ring of nasty looking stuff inside there. Bacteria live in that and they like to eat these little methanes. They love them. They're like candy to them. So your pipes will actually take the bad chemical out of the water as they pass through. Um, so I'm not worried about that. I'm worried about 
all the hidden filters that you don't even know exist in your house. Okay, behind your refrigerator, if you have a water dispenser or an ice maker. Places like that, that the, the, the coffee pot that has the, the vessel to the side. It has a filter in it that needs to be replaced. People don't replace them. And I would, at one part per million, those carbon filters will be consumed. Some people have home water treatment systems with ion exchange resin and granular activated carbon. The Brita things on top of the, the sinks, those are 75 bucks. Trash them. They're gone. They've been exhausted. They're full of that crap. Was that chemical, was it oil-based or more acidic? And how hard is it to wash that and, and get it to dissipate? Yeah, it would be, what does it look like? Is it oily based, like sticky? Yeah. No, it's, 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 I don't know. I'm going to be honest with you. I've never touched this stuff, but, but looking at its chemical structure, it's going to look like paint thinner. It's going to be volatile. But it, 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 it's in a, it's in a jet fuel family. And I mean, there's research that will say to that. It's, it's methylcyclone hexane. If you look up cyclone hexane, it's basically density. So reports that you will see on this chemical and its chemical makeup is more than a jet fuel proponent. Just, if that answers your question, how it floats on the water, I haven't seen. I repeat. Sure. Uh, since this happened, have they changed the filter on the intake? That's an excellent and question. Nobody has said anything about that. He has. Yeah, it's. They probably. It's probably just a louver screen. Well, I don't think it's a filter. They said it was one of the best filters in the country that we have on our system. But That's at the treatment plant. Okay, yeah, and they said that it's not just about any chemical, but this chemical went straight through it. Yeah, Did it they absorbed change it. that filter? They said that it, it overwhelmed the charcoal filter yeah. and it absorbed have into they the That's why we have it in our water. Okay. That's right, that's right. They have never told us. Yeah. And I, ha I haven't been able to get a straight answer. We've been trying to... <laughs> and the reason is, is and I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt, my staff's been calling them, and we, we, I use different staff so they don't think it's the same guy calling twice, and we're trying to get all kinds of documents out. <laughs> it has not. It has not. It has not. I can tell you that because I know how hard it would be to do. <laughs> Well, because what they did was, it, it sounds like it hit the water system. There's no honest answers. I mean, I'm a little freaked out by the fact that I had to hear your water quality report from a colonel. But I was in the army, and it made me very uncomfortable seeing a colonel tell me what my water quality was on the news this morning. Um, but is that filter just like a filter in your? I'm going to explain it exactly. It's all the same. It might be. Here's the patent on the chemical. So if anybody wants to come up and see, it's 19, April 10th, 1990. 1990, let's see. So April 10th, 1990, the patent on this chemical for the use in the coal industry is only, you know, 24 years old. So there's, there's not a whole lot of understanding to it. Coal, coal filters, let's talk about coal filters a little bit. I can't tell, here it is these, Here's your annual water quality report. You, you got very good water quality here in West Virginia. I mean, they're starting out with some pretty good stuff and they're making it better for the most part. Had, had. Yeah, had was right. Um, and you had a big treatment plant upgrade here about 10 years ago. Yeah. But they don't talk about the specifics. They're, they gloss over them enough that even me, a water guy, can't figure out. So they're telling you as a community that the coal absorbed this chemical, but it became overwhelmed. Yeah. Yes. If yes. they're saying that, they're either creatively crafting a story for you, or they're lying, or a little bit of both. And here's the problem. To absorb and overcome a granular activated carbon coal filter and they can they can either get this stuff it's made from sri lankan coconuts or bituminous coal from Pittsburgh and west virginia most of what they would use it, it depends on the types of organics you have in the river the naturally occurring the decaying leaves and things like that whether they use the bituminous or the 